Hey, so I, 27, female, have been married to my husband, Marcus, 28, male, for three years. I've known him for a much longer time. We used to be childhood friends because our families were friends and we used to spend a lot of time together whenever his family and mine would meet at parties or whatever. We grew apart in high school, but then we ended up in the same business school and grew closer, which ended in a relationship and eventually marriage. But in the last year, we sort of hit a rough patch because he got a job at one of the top firms in the state and it was a great position with great pay. But I was struggling to keep up and even after I quit my job, I couldn't find another one and was in between jobs for a couple of months because I wanted something that could put me at par with my husband. I know it sounds horrible, but I've always been extremely competitive and I couldn't understand why I was failing, but my husband was doing great. I wouldn't say that I was jealous of Marcus because I really wasn't, but I definitely felt a little left behind whenever he talked about work and how great he was doing. I was happy for him and he was extremely supportive of me, but despite that, I was feeling put out and I just wanted better opportunities for myself. I started getting depressed and even though I hid it really well from Marcus, I couldn't hide it from my parents. And one day I told them about how I was feeling, which turned out to be a huge mistake because they pounced on that opportunity to try and break me and Marcus apart. They told me, that Marcus was only going to focus on his work now and would eventually forget about me. And it didn't help that Marcus was already working long hours and would barely come back home or go out and just do stuff with me. They told me that eventually Marcus was going to push me into the role of a housewife and the process had already started because I was doing most of the chores at home while he worked. At that time, I didn't think there was anything unfair about it because he was bringing home a ton of money, so it only seemed fair that I did the chores at home. It wasn't until my parents highlighted it that I started thinking that maybe Marcus was trying to push me into a stay-at-home wife role, which was something I didn't want because I'd always been very clear about my career being a priority for me. My parents had pretty much drilled it into my head from a very young age that if I wasn't working, then I wasn't worthy. I'm not even making it up. That's exactly what they used to tell me when I was younger. So I grew up thinking that being a working woman was the most important role that I could take up. So much so that I didn't even care about being a good wife or a good friend and just wanted to beat everyone out for the best job and best position and best salary, including my husband. And once I told my parents about me feeling weird and like a failure, just because my husband was doing better at work than I was, they jumped onto the bandwagon and started gaslighting me into believing that Marcus was trying to put me down on purpose and that I needed to leave him. Not only them, but for some reason, even my in-law started giving me advice about the same and said that since Marcus had grown up watching his mother be a housewife, he probably wanted the same thing from me. This is why he was slowly but cleverly manipulating me into staying at home while he worked, and soon enough, our roles in the household would be cemented, so I needed to get out before that happened. Maybe I wouldn't have bought it if it was just my own parents saying this, but once my in-laws started insisting that I go away from Marcus and leave him, I began to think that there was actually some substance in whatever they were saying, and I don't know what got into me, but one day I decided to pack up my bags and leave without even telling Marcus what was bothering me. I was already feeling depressed due to the lack of a job and I just couldn't take the pressure anymore so I left without a word to anyone, not even my parents. Nobody knew where I was. I deactivated all my social media and even changed my number because I didn't want to be found. I used my savings to rent a house in the suburbs and lived there for almost two weeks or maybe three where I didn't do anything except just lie around and cry on my own. 
I was so depressed that I didn't even have the energy to make food for myself and would only stick to one meal a day, which is why I lost a ton of weight and started looking really sickly and weird. I would barely go out of the house unless it was for groceries, and even then I would cover my face to make sure nobody recognized me. After a while, I even started considering filing for divorce. That's how bad things started to look for me in my own head. But somehow Marcus did find me with the help of the police after a couple of weeks and took me back home. I didn't have any furniture in the house that I'd been living in apart from a bed to sleep on, so I hadn't even seen myself for a couple of weeks. When I finally came back home, I realized how much weight I'd lost and that I was actually looking like a crazy person because I hadn't brushed my hair or my teeth and hadn't showered for days. And despite all of that, the first thing that Marcus did when he found me was give me a huge hug and start crying because he was so relieved and he loved me and couldn't stand the thought of losing me. I felt terribly guilty for leaving him over something so stupid and realized how crazy I'd been acting. I'm pretty sure it was the lack of a job that drove me to such an extent and made me take that step. That, along with all the gaslighting by my parents and in-laws and also my own inadequacies, I started therapy soon after but never told Marcus about the real reason that I'd left. I just told him that I'd left without a word because I was depressed and didn't want to be a burden on him, which was partly true, but didn't elaborate on it. Fast forward to now and I'm doing a lot better than I was before. I have a stable job and even though it's not as good as my husband, I'm happy with it. Because I know that he's not my competition and whatever we do, we're in it together. Therapy has helped me make sense of the crazy things that used to go on in my brain and made me mellow down. I have also still kept in touch with my parents and my in-laws despite whatever rubbish they fed me all that while ago when I was going through a horrible phase in my own head and they talked me into leaving my husband. They didn't bring up any of what they told me before I disappeared and pretended to be surprised by my actions once I returned and told me that they'd been worried sick about me. I didn't know why they were trying to break us up, but I never could bring myself to fully trust them again, especially during therapy when I figured out that they didn't want the best for me. They just wanted some drama and that's what they got. So I kept in touch with them, but I also kept my distance. And things were really weird between all of us, but Marcus never brought it up because he just probably figured that they were being weird around me because of my sudden disappearance a couple of months ago. And I was being weird around them for the same reason. He was pretty much the glue holding the family together. So I didn't talk to him about a lot of things until recently. It's been a while since I came back, and like I said, I've been doing a lot better now. So a week ago, I finally thought that it was about time that I told my husband the truth about why I left. Because he deserved to know, and I couldn't keep up the lies anymore. Because it made me feel guilty. I told him everything about how I'd been feeling when he was doing great at his job and I was struggling to even find one that could put me at par with him and he seemed to understand where I was coming from. He even tried to comfort me. And then I told him about what my parents and his parents had to say about the situation back then and that's when he started looking really mad. I told him about how they'd been egging me on to leave him because apparently they believed that he was trying to force me into being a stay-at-home wife, and I got scared. So I left without saying anything. I apologized for all of it and said that I really regretted my stupidity because now I knew that he wasn't trying to do any of it and it was just a huge misunderstanding created partly by my own insecurity and partly by my parents and in-laws. He got very upset when I told him that and went to his phone immediately. For a second, I thought that he was mad at me, but then he called his parents and as soon as they picked up, he tore into them and gave them a piece of his mind for trying to break us up. He told them that he never wanted to speak to them again because of what they'd been trying to do and then hung up and blocked them. 
Then he turned to me and told me that he felt the same way about my parents and he really didn't want anything to do with either of them ever again. I asked him if he was mad at me and thankfully he said that he wasn't. He could understand where I was coming from because my parents had taught me to be incredibly competitive and I couldn't stand the fact that somebody else was finally doing better than I was, which made me a little cuckoo. I'd always been a perfectionist and he understood and respected my mental struggle to come to terms with a lot of things, which made me act out in a way that I had never done before. He could forgive me for what I did, but he couldn't forgive his parents and my parents for what they tried to do, because while I was grappling with several issues in my own head, they didn't have any excuse for what they did. They tried to gaslight me just so that we'd separate and took advantage of my depressive episodes so they could find it easier to break us up, and he thought that it was really low and disgusting, which I agree with. They could have tried to make the situation better and talked me into sorting things out with Marcus, but instead, they went the other way and tried to ruin our marriage. I didn't know why they would want to do such a thing, but Marcus told me that they didn't need a reason. He believed that the only reason they went through all this trouble was because even though they'd been friends since we were kids, our families didn't really like each other, and I think it might be true. He told me that he didn't know about my parents, but whenever we would meet at social events and stuff as kids, his parents would start gossiping about mine as soon as they'd enter the car. I guess mine waited until they were inside their room, so I never found out. Marcus spilled the beans on how he'd always known that our families didn't exactly get along, but they didn't oppose our marriage either because they knew that we wouldn't listen to them anyway, and if they spoke up, then we'd probably just ignore them, get married anyway, and then cut them off. So they decided to play the long game and put up a united front in trying to break us up. And then, at the first chance they got, they talked me into leaving, and because I was in a very vulnerable position, I actually fell for it. Even more so because his own parents were also telling me to leave him and that carried a lot more weight than just my own parents saying it. That was his theory. And it sounded like he knew what he was talking about, so I believed it and blocked our parents too. But yesterday my parents reached out to me via email and told me to unblock them so they could talk to me. I decided to give them one last chance for closure and unblock them and then call them so we could have one last discussion and then be done with this for good. I told them about what Marcus had said and said that I believed him, which is why I blocked them. They told me that they didn't have any intention of messing things up for us and had only ever wanted the best for me. They said that after their discussion with my in-laws at the time, they'd also found it weird that those two were trying to break us up. But for them, it was not the same since my parents were only looking out for the daughter. My mother even started crying and said that she'd never expected me to even consider that they tried to break my marriage up because they only wanted the best for me. She said that she still loved and respected Marcus, but she didn't think that it was right of him to accuse them of trying to break us up on purpose. My dad told me that he didn't know what my in-laws' intentions were, but he could assure me that they didn't share the same sentiments. And it was incredibly hurtful to think that their own daughter would believe that her parents were trying to actively hurt her and ruin her marriage. Both of them seem pretty emotional and genuine, and after that phone call, I just don't know whom to believe. Of course, I don't think that my husband said anything on purpose to sabotage my relationship with my parents, but I just don't know if his theory was spot on or not. I don't understand if I should give my parents a second chance or if I should apologize to them because I blocked them without even giving them a chance to explain themselves. I have no idea what to do about anything, and I'm just so confused. I feel like an a-hole, but I've learnt not to trust my feelings regarding these things. Because the last time that I did, I almost ended up ruining my marriage. 
AITA for cutting off my parents because my husband accused them of trying to sabotage our marriage on purpose. Update one. So I went through the comments and I think everybody is of the same opinion as my husband. I also communicated with Marcus about what happened and my conversation with my parents and he also reiterated his own point and said that I shouldn't fall for this because it's an act and he knows it. Marcus broke it to me as gently as he could, but he did inform me that I shouldn't trust my feelings right now because I'm still going through a very weird phase mentally and have become a little too vulnerable and I fall for just about anything. And it's true. Ever since I spoke to my parents about my marriage troubles, I found myself believing almost anything that anybody says to me and I don't think it's healthy and definitely isn't good for me. This is the first time anybody has told me to be a little less trusting and optimistic about my relationship with other people because not everybody wants the best for me, especially not my parents who can't seem to stand my in-laws. I didn't know this since it's basically just gossip about our families and I don't really indulge in it, but Marcus recently told me something and I guess their history goes a lot deeper than what I knew previously. So apparently my father's brother was engaged to my mother-in-law's cousin and they were about to get married, but my uncle cheated on her with his secretary and they were caught by her a couple of days before the wedding. The wedding had to be called off and everything became a whole scandal, which led to a lot of problems between our families. But since it happened a long time ago, they couldn't exactly act like enemies when they were in public, so they never stopped me and Marcus from playing together as kids. And neither did they say anything when we were about to get married because they didn't want to bring this up in public. But Marcus knew all about it. I didn't because I don't pay attention to gossip and I guess that's why I never figured out why they were so bent on ruining our marriage. Now that I know the truth, it's going to be a lot harder for them to manipulate me. I don't even understand why my parents went and told my in-laws about the problems I was having. I guess they felt like they could team up just to separate, which is just disgusting and I can't imagine any sane person doing that and being okay with it. I spoke to them a week ago and I haven't talked to them ever since and I don't think I'm going to because after what I learned, I'm pretty sure that they were trying to sabotage our marriage on purpose. I mean, if they wanted to do that, then they shouldn't have allowed us to get married in the first place. If they didn't say anything back then, then they have no business interfering right now. I regret even talking to my parents about any of this and I guess I should have just spoken to Marcus about our problems and kept it private. He hasn't been speaking to his parents ever since their last phone call because he knew the truth all along and was right about everything. He told me that he didn't tell me about all the gossip because he always assumed I knew but wasn't comfortable addressing it. So we just never brought it up. I guess it makes sense in a way because I really should have known all of this, but I never really considered that my parents weren't the people that they presented themselves to be. They raised me to be incredibly competitive, independent, and self-sufficient, which are all good qualities, obviously, but it got to a point where I was incapable of thinking about anybody but myself, and I don't think that's healthy. And the reason I turned out like that was because my parents were like that. So I became exactly like them and did things without thinking about how it would affect the other people in my life. The time I ran away from home without telling my husband was something that my parents encouraged. And it didn't help that my in-laws were also against us. But I'm out of that circle now and they can no longer manipulate me and make me do things that are going to be bad for me in the long run, like leaving my husband. Update 2. It's been a few days since the last update and like I said, I haven't been talking to my parents for a while now. I blocked them yet again after my conversation with Marcus and also after reading the comments here, which made it very clear that they were trying to manipulate me. Also, side note, a lot of people have been blaming me for all of this and saying that I'm stupid, which I might be, but I don't think that it's a kind of thing to say to somebody who's undergoing intensive therapy because clearly I have a lot of issues to deal with, some of which I haven't even mentioned here. 
I'm not saying that I need to be worshipped, but I think it would do everybody a lot of good to just go easy on people if you don't know what they're going through. The only reason it was easy to manipulate me was because I was not in the best state of mind. Anyway, my parents visited me at my house today, or rather they tried to, but I wasn't at home. I was out with a couple of my friends and Marcus was the one at home, so that's who they ran into. Thankfully, he had a good sense not to bother me while I was out with my friends and only told me everything once I got back home. So apparently, they were really ticked off and as soon as they saw Marcus at the door, they put him on blast and called him a lot of horrible names. They accused him of trying to manipulate me and steal my daughter away, which I don't even think is a real thing, because I'm already married to him. So he doesn't need to steal me, because I am nobody's property. They don't own me, and neither does my husband, so there is no stealing that's happening. I think what they meant is that Marcus was trying to turn me against them, but he didn't really have to try because they did the job themselves pretty well. They were the ones who first tried to manipulate me into leaving my husband and took advantage of me when I was in a very delicate state of mind. So if anything, they were the ones to blame for the situation because they couldn't put aside their feud with my husband's family even for my sake. Entertaining that animosity was more important to them than my marriage, so there's really no reason for me to feel bad about cutting them off, especially after what they said to my husband. They told him that they were really full of regret that they didn't make up lies about him just so that I would leave him and file for divorce, because that's what he deserved since his family was nothing but a bunch of cheaters and liars anyway. I mean, that's a bit rich coming from them since they're no better themselves, but it's fine because at least they showed their true colors. And now I don't even have to pretend that I have an empathy for my parents. I'm just done with them and I think they're the ones who are actually responsible for all the issues that I have. Update 3 so, it's been almost a month and today I was notified by my parents' lawyer that they have removed me from their will and now everything will be left to my cousins but nothing to me. He told me that my parents wanted me to know that the only way to fix this was to get a divorce from my husband, to which I only have one thing to say, nice try, ha ha. I can't believe they think that I can be bought out like that. Especially since Marcus, my dear husband, is in a pretty great position at his company right now and we don't need to suck up to them for money because we have plenty of our own. It's pathetic because my parents are the only ones engaging in so much drama. Marcus's parents haven't said a word to either of us since he blocked them so they're dealing with this respectfully which is infinitely better than whatever it is that my parents are trying to do. It's not making me respect them, that's for sure, and it's certainly not going to make me come back. They're just making sure that I never ever go back to them because if they think that they can force me to do something by dangling a wad of cash in front of me, then they're wrong because I'm not a sellout, especially not when it comes to my marriage. Stay tuned for more stories from Argo Relationships.